So this mobile issue is really going up there, and so many celebrities are taking it upon themselves to seek for justice. You're welcome to this channel once again. Let's not forget that friends could also turn enemies if they don't do the right thing. Nigerian Nollywood actress Tonto DK drags Naira Mali over Mobad's death. Well, everyone seems to be posting about Mobad for the past how many days and so many high profile celebrities have remained mute because a lot of them are trying to get to the roots of this Mobad matter. Yes, so it's been trending on the internet how Naira Mali have been alleged to have um, contributed in the death of his fellow colleague and also ex signee Mobad. And a lot of people are seeking for justice, calling top government operatives and also security individuals to get Naira Mali before he leaves the country, including his own associate. Well, the Nigerian actress Tonto DK has finally stepped in, and we know who Tonto is when it comes to matters like this, because she doesn't give up on such issues. Tonto DK decided to fight back after Naira Mali's best friend, Angela Okori, who happens to be an actress in the industry, posted pictures of Mobad and talking about how what was done to Mobad was quite evil. And Tonto DK requested for Naira Mali's number because according to information out there, Angela Okori is Naira Mali's bestie. Before I continue, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, don't forget to like our post on Facebook. And for more updates, click on the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Hmm. So much about this Nigerian entertainment structure is unfolding as a lot of celebrities are not even talking about this more bad case because it's a popular person involved. A lot of Nigerian musicians, especially the high-profile ones for that matter, are just playing the mind-your-own-business key while the lower versions of them are the ones fighting for Mobad's body to be buried and for the right thing to be done. Well, Tonto DK could not hide, hide her own mind on this particular issue, and she talked about it dragging Naira Mali to the mud. She said on her social media page in a very recent rant, it's so heartbreaking to see what Mobad went through right in front of our eyes. We were made to believe this young soul was a substance addict by Naira Mali, while all the while he was screaming for help. And dearly in Nigeria, if a dying man said you gave him a substance to drink he believed was poison, then you did. How is it that you caught a fifth-hand party peddler but stay snapping picture with the kingpin of it all? Even the NDLA Nigeria is not to be trusted. I remember sending a letter to their office and an insider told me, King Tonto, they wouldn't take you serious because you really mean change. They don't want change. Everyone fighting the mobile case, be careful how you travel. Never have a checked in bag. If you do, double check it and make sure officials open and search in your presence. Be alert when this is done. If you have a hand luggage, pack it up yourself and never let it leave your sight. Please, we need to be free and safe to fight for justice, according to Tonto DK. Well, the rants did not stop there because she's still going and she said, is Naira Mali playing with us? Hmm. What the heck is as that letter you posted? Why are you asking questions? Where is La Larry Sam? You sent to frustrate Mobad with Coclas and people were thinking it's Kane. Look well. I will suggest you shut up. You look prettier with your mouth closed anyway. And keep dancing on Snapchat while we seek justice. The last thing you will want to do is take us mobile fans for a fool. Naira Mali, how did you know Instablog was paid to say I am mobile was unalive due to ear infection? Even Instablog Naija is a very useless blog always on the wrong side of history and fight for justice, always exchanging money for sides of the story. I know this 100% cause you did it to me five years ago and you're still doing it now. Hmm. 
So Instablog, who paid you to announce the cause of the demise, the people that frustrated his life and beat him to his last days are asking, a blog read by millions posting such a sensitive post without confirmation. If we had stable electricity, the billionaires behind generators will lose. If we had a um, drug-free country, NDLEA wouldn't have a job. If we had jobs, the government would hire thugs. You see, Nobi Smarty went on to DK Follow Expose, and she's saying this is sad because we all failed more bad. And Tonto DK is coming out here to talk about it. She said, why other people, even celebrities, fear and kiss the behind of Insta blog that she'll be their own nightmare because she wants true journalism to be uphold and a lot of things too don't they unfold even the nigerian music star ti blaze is also here to share his own story about the ndla officials how they invaded him how many months ago and when he came out there to speak up they also called him for a discussion Aaron. funny enough they no no say him to don't follow get sense ha huh? not be smart you know a lot of people now, they follow talk about um, real Angela Okori is out here saying, what exactly did Moba do to deserve such cruelty that she is so broken hard? The heart of men is desperately wicked. God will rise. Rest on King. And Tonto DK attacked her by saying, give me Naira Mali's number. He is your best T sis. I did wait. I'm gonna be smart thing where they really happen. So plenty, plenty things don't they happen? And person now come they talk say right now, hmm. Me obon come bell. Stop chatting. And the person now don't they post say a word is enough for the wise. Make person we get here. Make it here. Say now actions now with them too. The one they take for this more bad case. Another Nollywood actress too dragging this um, Naira Mali on this issue is Yaba Ojo. She's saying, honestly, I believe and support, I will believe and support APC if Mobad can go get justice. The boy so is crying for justice. Autopsy needed, investigation seriously needed. Every day I read something about him and shed tear. No, he cried out and no one listened. How? No, it is not my business, should be cancelled at this moment. It's everybody's business. He so needs to rest, according to Yabo Ojo. And even Yemoli is out here saying that, hmm, Naira Mali is just shaming himself on social media because everyone knows what he did. And Tonto DK dragging Naira Mali, who used to be friends with her before, means there's more to this particular issue than to meet the eye. Right now, currently, Bella Schmoda have really cancelled his tour in Canada and he is paying attention to these issues as according to Twitter announcement. He said due to the unforeseen events and also the circumstances that is surrounding this particular event that just happened, which happens to be the death of his friend, he is taking a break from music and also he is focusing on the issue on ground and Islatani Bile is in a studio recording and he said too much wala for who gets double wala for who no get person when no get money na believe make him tell Taylor to put pocket why should the good die young and bad live for long when fele fele and tanko de god make I no tick kick bucket to according to Slatani Bile on this case. Well, Tonto DK is dragging Naira Mali as according to the news, the videos, and everything. We've also seen videos of Naira Mali beating Mobad seriously and also calling on his boys to attack Mobad according to vi the videos shared on various blog sites. And a lot of evidence is actually coming out, serious ones for that matter. And I think a lot of celebrities are looking at this thing. And Tonto DK is speaking up, especially based on the fact that she is not in support of everything. And she thinks Naira Mali is supposed to be held responsible for a more bad death. My own question is, why are the biggest names in the music industry not coming out for this more bad death? Why are they just being silent? From Davido, Whiskey, 
Borna Boy, Olamide, and so many musicians in the industry, why are they muting themselves on this mobile debt, knowing fully well that we've seen so many evidence out there, so much details, so much words, so much testimony. Even Lil Smart now, people don't they post them. According to waiting one person now, don't come post, say, ha. Even during that time, so not be only Mobad, according to Gis Lover, coming out to say that Mobad is dead. Another person, DJ, DJ Splash, is confirmed to be roaming the streets mad. Someone who was an ex-signee of Naira Mali's record label, Malian Music, is out there because he disagreed with the way their operation seems to be carried out. Well... Now only God go fee save person, but my own question is, why do you think these prominent names in the music industry are not reacting to the death of MOBA, knowing fully well that their colleague might actually be a culprit and also a suspect in this whole thing? What is really, really going on?